Hey yo, Big Red here with, with another video. Well, I was at school, I think it was two days ago, and I was telling a couple of buddies of mine about my videos, and uh, one of my buddies was like, man, you should do a Copenhagen straight, straight long cut review. And I was like, sounds like a good idea. I mean, I can give it a shot. I mean, I ain't never done a dip review before, but I was like, shit, man. I'll do it. I'll give it a shot. He was like, all right, man. So he was like, I'll be looking forward to it. So I told him I'd post it in the next couple of days, which the video shouldn't be posted up until about Monday night, probably. Uh, I got work. I got stuff going on. I got to do breaks on my dad's truck. I got get my chainsaw back got a couple other things gotta do before I can post this video but yeah so well before I do this video well I'll be doing dip review on this same thing I dip every day so yeah I think I might put a fatty in today yeah, it seems about right It's not that big. I mean, it's alright size. For what I'm used to. I mean, I go to work and put one in about this big. But, the job I do, it kind of, I got, I only get one break a day and it's for an hour, so. Pretty much I can't, I don't have time to sit there, take a dip out, then pack the can, put another one in. I pretty much just scoot it to the back pack a, a big old killer filler put that in and by the time I get to like I get to work at like 7 and uh I gotta be on the job site working so I'll be up on the roof putting in windows laying down roofing plywood and building chimneys and shit like that so I can't be up there doing all that so I put a dip in at 7 walk onto the job site with a can in my tool pouch and then whenever it runs out of flavor, pack another one, scoot it to the back, and just keep going. By the time I get to 12, when I get my lunch break, I mean, I got it stretched from this back jawline to here. Sometimes I'll have an upper decker going on, but, I mean, I was saying every time, my brother got me on Snapchat, and he was like, he always says, upper deckers make your peckers bigger. Well, pecker bigger. I'd, it'd be kind of weird if you had two peckers, you know what I mean? It'd be really awkward. It'd been like, I don't know which one to play with and shit. But, uh, uh, so every time I'd get to the point where my bottom jaw's full and I throw an upper, upper decker in, I'd take a picture of it, send it to him. Find it the funniest shit in the world because he's always like, I'd get home, he'd be like, upper deckers make a pecker bigger. And I'm like, I'm like, whatever floats your boat, bro. But yeah. Okay, now to get to the part of doing this dip review. Honestly, my favorite dip, well, my top two favorite dips would have to be Copenhagen Straight Long Cut and then Copenhagen Mint Long Cut. They ain't came out with that up here yet. It comes out, I think, March 16th up here. I mean, they had it down in Georgia when I was living down there. I mean, I can only get a can every once in a while down there because, I mean, as soon as it came in stock, it was gone. And it pissed me off because, I mean, when I was working in the chicken houses, I couldn't dip straight. I I was stuck with wintergreen because dip, I meant the, the straight, I meant, oh, the fucking mint went, ran out so quick that... If you dip straight, like, as soon as you put your dip in and walk into the chicken house, it instantly tastes like chicken shit. And you're like, well, shit, I don't want this in anymore. You take it out, you end up just wasting a dip. So, I was stuck dipping wintergreen for years. 
but uh, yeah. But once coat mint comes out up here, I'll do a coat mint review and I'll do another review video. And I plan on doing a Copenhagen black video, Southern blend. Um, trying to think what other ones they got out there that I want to do a review on. It might come to me in a later video. I might, might do a Copenhagen Wintergreen uh, review, but do not hold me to that because, honestly, I fucking hate Wintergreen. Yeah, my dip tie right here, I got a lot of Wintergreen cans. Like, I got these, the old camo cans. But, I mean, that was mainly the only reason I dipped Wintergreen, but it was because they were camouflage. I mean, I can dip... I can dip this year round, and once once I see the camouflage cans come out, I'm like, I want to buy this one, this one, and this one. I get, I get all the different camos, and then I stop dipping it, and I keep them at them to my tower, which my tower was pretty decent until one night I came home drunk and kind of set my uh, set my lamp up there, and it kind of knocked it over, and I just ain't got around to putting it back up and kind of just set them up there I ain't put them back on the tower yet so yeah but yeah okay back to the review sorry I'm getting sidetracked just been a long day but uh Copenhagen straight long cut it's it holds together well in your mouth I mean it packs packs great I mean it the flavor is great a lot of people don't like it they're like I've heard people say it's got too much of a salty flavor to it. It's got too much of a sweet flavor to it. It just depends. I mean, me, I think it's got an all-around perfect flavor to it. But I'm talking about people up here in Maryland. People up here, they do not like straight. Like, I'll go to a party. Like, Friday, I went to... Friday night I went to my girlfriend's party. It was her birthday party and I showed up and of course I'm the oldest one there. I'm dipping Copenhagen straight. Everybody else, they're like, wintergreen, wintergreen, wintergreen. By the time the night was over, I still had, because I showed up with, I think it was like half a can and then I had, my girlfriend's sister was going to the store so I had to get me a can. So she got me a can and uh, so I had a can and a half that night, and I, I was down to like a can, and I only took a pinch, pinch out of it. Everybody else was out of dip, and uh, they started coming to me, and they were like, oh, "I don't want to, but I need a dip. Can I borrow? Can I borrow a dip?" I'm like, "You can't borrow one because I definitely don't want that shit back, because that'd be kind of gross." But yeah, you can have a dip, and of course, they fucking put it in. 5, 10, 15 minutes later, they, they'd run to the bathroom or run outside and they'd spit it out. And I'm like, y'all are just wasting my dip. And what sucks is they'd put one in close to that and they wouldn't keep it in. they just end up wasting a big pinch out of my can. I'm like, motherfuckers, I need this for work. I need this when I'm out in the woods. I need this when I'm working on cars. Like, shit. Today I went out and bought five cans. I mean, I could have bought a log, but it was cheaper because I got the old uh, trial cans. They had five of them sitting up on the shelf. I was like, give me, give me five of the trial cans because it's like two fifty-seven for a trial can, I think. Which, if you buy the log, I think it rounds up to like, I think it rounds up to like four fifty a can, and I'm like. Why would I want to spend 20 bucks, 22 bucks, something like that, on a fucking log when I can just spend 15 on a on the trial cans and just do that? And another thing about Copenhagen Strait is people are like, it makes your breath stink. I'm like, don't every dip. But I don't know, with other dips, other Copenhagens, like mainly wintergreen. It's a lot of winter greens that'll give you gator lip. I mean, with this, I'd have to keep this in for four or five hours to start to give me gator lip. I don't ever get gator lip off of anything but winter green. 
some mints I get it off of. Like, I put Stoker's mint in one time. I kept that in for about an hour, and then I started getting Gator Lip, and I was like, ooh, I don't like this. But by by an hour, it was it was out of flavor. I mean, Stoker's is all right. I mean, I like the, the texture of Stoker's. Holds together great. It's got them, like, Copenhagen straight long cut. It, it's got long strands. But Stoker's takes it to a whole another level, and it's just long. It's like it's kind of like gum. You pull it out the can, and you just got pieces hanging off. And it's like, hmm. But yeah, Stoker's packs together good in your lip, which I'm thinking about for my birthday. That's coming up. Thinking about buying a tub of the mint, but I still ain't decided about that one yet because the tub's kind of just a hassle. When I can just buy five cans or six cans or whatever the hell, how many other cans are in the fucking tub? I don't pay attention to that. I'm I'm pretty much strictly a Coke guy. But yeah, and uh. I don't know how it is with y'all, but I shaved tonight because I had to put I had to put my uniform on in the morning, and fucking I shaved with a dip in, but I had it over here, and fucking I ended up cutting myself like three times on my lip because fucking it was kind of hard to maneuver my razor over that fucking bump. But uh, yeah, Co Copenhagen straight long cut is just an all around well together dip i mean it's a well-rounded dip the flavor is great it packs together great the texture is great it don't fry your grill like other dips and honestly i think it's a real man's dip like wintergreen yeah i'm not knocking people for dipping wintergreen or any other dips i'm just saying that when it comes to any coke dip it'd be coach Coke straight long cut, Copenhagen's natural, Coke black, and uh, Coke mint would be the most manly dips out there because it's just, it's got that flavor that no other dip has. But uh, yeah, tell me how y'all thought about, tell me what y'all thought about this video. Uh, leave comments, uh, like, subscribe. Give me ways to improve my videos. I mean, this is my fifth video. I'm trying to get up there. I think I only have five subscribers. I mean, I'm just trying to get up there. Trying to just... Trying to make something of these videos. I mean, I only do them when I ain't got nothing to do. And I'm kind of just bored and trying to find shit to do. So I just make I just make dipping videos, man. It's not that bad. And, uh... But, yeah. Like, subscribe, comment um whatever any suggestions for next videos leave them in the comments uh i'd appreciate it y'all but uh big red have a good night have a good night y'all